this way. I believe it is speculation. What do you think? No, I would say, so this cannot be answered in a yes or no. So I will probably have a slightly longer answer. Is it speculation? Uh, I would say no. Is it fundamentals? Do you think the fundamentals in no. India so it's basically a, It's basically a mix. I would say the reasons are also fundamental. See, what had happened last time when the index was at 16,000, maybe a couple of months back, the global scenario and the domestic scenario were both, were both bad. Europe was struggling, US was struggling with the debt issue or the, uh, yeah, the debt issue which it had, the $1.2 trillion of reduction which it had to make. Domestically, inflation was at 11, 12%, interest rates were rising, corporate profit growth was not there to a significant extent. What happened in the last one, one and a half month is that domestic, uh, internationally things seem to be getting better. Like uh, the European Union solved the Portugal problem, they solved the Greek problem, they solved the uh, Spanish problem to a bit. So indications were that they will not allow significant bankruptcies. And that is why global markets went up, we also went up. But now what has happened is that once again concerns on Europe have come up and more importantly, the domestic factors which were there have not been solved to a significant extent, the concerns. So that is why I would say it is also a fundamental factor. We are basing our assumptions and our recommendation on the fact that or on the assumption that reforms will start from now and interest rates will start peaking out or they have peaked out. So if those things don't come through, probably there can be downsides. So let me be very clear on that. So I would say it is not purely technical. Technical has always been an integral part of the market, but this is also something to do with the fundamental factors. So just a comment on reforms by the government. The first day of the Lok Sabha has ended out as a washout. <coughs> What's the probability you are assigning to this factor, to this assumption that government is capable of passing all these reforms? Uh, I am no expert at that and I don't have a view, but uh, Looking at the kind of pressures which the government is under and looking at the situation of the economy, now is the time to do something. If now also the government is not able to do anything, we will have some serious implications for the longer term growth. So last time also we were very optimistic in the monsoon session that things will come through. That time for whatever reasons, Mr. Anna Azari or for whatever reasons, the, mark, the reforms were not done. We have started, mind you, seeing some uh, upside in terms of reforms. We have had the Manufacturing Act which has already been put forth. We have got FDI in retail aviation which probably will come through. The Land Acquisition Bill has already been tabled. So we are starting to see some of the decisions being taken. If you look at individual instances, companies which were banned from going ahead in terms of construction have now been given partial uh, go-aheads. We all know Lavasa is a case in point. So what I'm trying to say is that even without the parliament session being in progress, we have started seeing some reforms come through, some announcements being made. And we are just hoping that since this is very, very crucial time, probably some decisions will be taken in the next 15 days to one month. But if, as you say, that the BJP doesn't allow the parliament to function as today, then we will have some serious implications. Doesn't matter. Out of chaos, some order will come. That is the hope. Okay. One more question. One more question, and uh, I know people find it humorous, but uh, honestly, a practical answer, if possible. Uh, many a time, when you go to an advisor and you buy something, and then you say, you know, this hasn't really done well. The quick answer is long-term funding, whole long-term. How long is long-term? See, it depends uh, how long is long-term. Uh, we have got people who I was speaking to have been in the markets and invested in the same stock for 20 years. Now, he has made humongous amount of money. So that is something long-term. But obviously, when we recommend something, we do not recommend with a 10-year perspective because Obviously, when we don't know something, what is going to happen in the next year for uh, foreseeing something 10 years down the line is next to impossible. So, normally what we uh, recommend to people is with a 9 to 12 month view, that is long term for us. But ideally, we should be looking at long term in the sense that it should cover one business cycle. 
now if it covers one business cycle and the company is doing well if it's a good company it will probably do well over that business cycle so normally a business cycle is 2 to 3 years as we have seen in the past so we should select such companies who we feel should do well over one business cycle and if the selection is right then probably we will see our performance from that company but speaking from our side one when we recommend we recommend it with a 9 to 12 month view maybe a 12 month view which is a reasonable amount of time uh, for a recommendation and from a mutual fund perspective uh, you are referring to investments into mutual fund in mutual funds book instead of a company i'm talking about a mutual fund i would say similar kind of i think because in mutual funds also will take one to two year view before they invest in a stock so they are also looking at the performance of a mutual fund over the next one to two years now we have received some fund manager commentary which is looking at the next five years and we all know that you must have already read the commentary from some of the leading mutual fund managers they are taking a three to five year view which in their view is really really long term and at the right time or the right time frame to look at while investing so i would say if we have to take a view from a long term perspective we should look at maybe 12 to 18 months time frame because there is where that is the time frame where we have reasonable visibility if we are looking at a five year period neither you nor i know what's going to happen so we should term long term as probably 12 to 18 months because that is where we can have some reasonable visibility of what's going to happen thanks Firstly, thank you for your wonderful insight. The thank market. you. Um, I have two questions. Uh, one is, you said uh, sweet spots. You said there are still some sweet spots. So if you don't mind telling us what the sweet spots are. I'm not asking for uh, stock tips, but sweet I, spots. I was expecting, and I alluded to that in the next line which I said. There are stocks which have got very strong balance sheets, which are cash positive. The debt equity ratio maybe is low, if not cash positive. and the return ratios for these companies but are, are there any specific sectors you're talking about no these stocks you will find across sectors okay. so even in a capital goods sector which is down in the dumps you will find a greaves cotton okay. which is a net cash positive company okay. so that is i think those kinds of areas and there are obviously some areas in the consumption area consumption oriented stocks are still doing well because consumption is sustaining the economy right now and not investment so as long as the consumption goes i think consumption oriented stocks or the consumer oriented stocks probably will continue to do well here we have to be very careful because valuations are already very high so we should probably try to balance between growth and valuations but these are some of the areas where we can look up for investments my second question was uh, about p by e uh, do, do you remember what the p by e's were in the 2008 the lowest 10 times okay one year for one thank you so we are at currently 12 times so if things go really bad we can probably come to 10 times but uh, we have not seen levels below that at least till now right so if that be so uh, thank you very much all for your uh, interaction and uh, once again have a very nice evening thank you very much Ladies and gentlemen, before you leave us, firstly, let's have a round of applause for Mr. Shah. Thank you very much. He's going to quietly give us tips on what stocks to invest in unofficially a little later, but I'm not supposed to say it. Uh, but what I am supposed to say is, you know, we've got to guess the Sensex. Yeah. So if you want to guess the Sensex tomorrow's uh, Sensex, you want to go to the counter there and put in your vote. Uh, I believe uh, there is reward for for people who get it right. I think it's dinner with uh, Pranam Mukherjee. I'm not too sure. <laughs> What might have helped if I said Sonia Gandhi, no? Or Pamela Anderson? Look, we're open. <laughs> Whatever. But you want to go and fill in the form uh, and guess the Sensex, and we'll figure what the prize is depending on how good-looking and eligible you are. Okay? So go there and do that. Also, I believe there are there are free books that you can collect. on uh, on investments right on clever investments uh, which is something we all need isn't it so and it's a free book so feel free to kind of get yourself a copy on your way out uh, thank you once again thank you mr shah for sharing your insights and for what you will share with us on the quad uh, thank you for 
She will find it funny. It's not. We need to double our money really bad. Are you coming here? Okay, but thank you very much for coming out uh, in numbers and, and actually making this evening uh, worth everyone's while. Thank you once again. Good evening.